Good morning. Um, I've been asked a lot about the differences in in paint. In acrylic, we have hard body, we have fluids, we have um, high flow, we have inks. So I'm going to show you the difference in how they all flow and play on canvas. I've just cut some some canvas, and it'll play the same as it would on your canvas, and just give you an idea. So this is a hard body. We carry them in the artist grade, we carry them in Golden and the M. Graham. And you're all pretty familiar with that. It comes out, it's quite globby. It's like a toothpaste almost, right? And when you play with it, it's, it's kind of a beautiful, beautiful thing. And nice and thick, good coverage. Um, you can add water to that too, and it'll bleed a little for you. That's a hard body. That particular color was the Prussian Blue Hue in the M. Graham, which I love. Okay, then we're going to move over to the Golden Fluids. These guys here, we sell them in the one ounce. These are some sample ones. I've got an Indigo, which is an Anthroquin. And I've got the Interference, uh, or the Iridescent Silver, fine. So, I'm going to show you the difference in that. There's coming out, you can see. Now it's quite a bit thinner. It's more like a heavy cream compared to the hard body. And I just usually put a little bit of water on my... And look at that spread. See the difference there? Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And if we were to do the silver... It's not, oh, it's not going to show. That wasn't very smart of me. But you can see the difference there. And if we add some water to it... See how much more it goes than, than the hard body did? Then we're going to move over to the Golden High Flow. And the High Flow can be used for painting, airbrushing, pouring. It's just a multi-use. It's, it's kind of done in an ink consistency. And they've done that, um, and you'll see the difference when it comes out compared to the, hard, hard, to, to the cream one. So, they start to run quite quick, and if we add some brush to that, see how that's a little, it's even thinner still than the, than the um, fluid was, but still awesome, awesome, awesome coverage. Isn't that beautiful? I'll also play with that one too. And if you add water to these, They'll bleed. They'll do all kinds of things for you, too. Then we're going to move down, and this is something you might be more familiar with. You've seen me play with them before. They're the Della Raumi, um FW inks. And they're an acrylic paint that's made in an ink form, very much like the Golden High Flow. Um, but the High Flow is newer to our store. And Golden's only had that, out, I think, about a year or so. And you would give these a good shake, and these are... I usually drop them out. See how much thinner that was even than the high flow? And one of my favorite colors. And these these guys are awesome to play with. See how they run quite a bit thinner than the high flow? And again, you can add your water and see what they do. Just beautiful. So this is the, the museum liquid. And it's a student grade, which is um, their version of the Golden Fluid. Gives beautiful coverage. It's not the artist grade of the Golden, but I really like the pigment in it. We have that in a hard body as well. And it'll do the job for you. We sell it to a lot of schools because, see, it doesn't bleed the same. Do you see the difference there? Because it's... Um, non-toxic as well so that's another way to go so now i've got over here a little sample i'm going to do i'm going to do the fluids the high flow and the fw inks just to give you a quick comparison so i've put out the high flow here's the fluid and here is an fw ink Watch this, just so you can see the difference. 
ignore the blue one. Remember, this is the fluid here in the blue, in the red that isn't running. You can see the difference in how they go down. So that's your whole inks are the FW inks are thinner, the high flow medium, and the fluid the thickest. So we're back, and here are they're almost dry. And you can see the color density and how they've worked. This is the M. Graham hard body. This is the golden fluid. And that was the turquoise phyllo. And this is the golden high flow. And you can see it's still running a bit there. Isn't that interesting? And that was the indigo or the anthraquin. And the quinacquitrim violet. And then over here, we're at the FWs, and you can see they're still running. I run into that a lot when I'm doing my pourings with inks. You can go back and change it in an hour or so. And this is the Velvet Moon, and my favorite, the Sundown Magenta. And this was the museum that we had a little bit of trouble getting it going because I hadn't shook it enough, but here it is all shook. And that's a fluid, and look how thick it is. So almost as thick as the hard body, but a little more fluid going. And here's the three I compared. So we've got the fluid, the high flow, and the inks. And you can see the inks are still moving, the high flow is still moving, the fluid just a little bit. I guess if I held it up enough, it would move. And that's your difference in consistency. All excellent for detail. So I just wanted to show you that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.